And NBC News is now calling Doug Jones the apparent winner in this special Senate election in Alabama. That's NBC's call at this hour, uh, 13 minutes before 11, the apparent winner in Alabama. And uh, uh, Rachel, we can expect the congratulatory presidential tweet any moment. Yes, I'm sure. And the, and the, and the peace be with you. And we are all Americans first. And we look forward to reaching across party lines. It's going to be nice when I wake up. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we well, shall see. I mean, how the president reacts to this. Obviously, this is a loss for the president because he came out so overtly uh, for Roy Moore. It would have been a loss for the president, too, had Roy Moore been on his way to Washington. Yeah. Just a loss of a different kind. Steve Kornacki, we now have an apparent winner. Uh, yes, uh, I was wondering when that was going to happen. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, look, we were talking for a week or two in the run-up to this thing about what the formula would be if a Democrat's actually going to win a Senate race in Alabama. And let me just remind you what those keys were. Number one, we said not only does Jones, the Democrat, need to get the level of support that Barack Obama got from black voters. And the exit poll tells us he got exactly that same level of support, 95 percent for Obama among black voters and 95 percent for Jones among black voters. But more importantly, he needed to get that term. Out. And we tracked this throughout the night. The heavily black counties that make up this part of the state, in one county after another, we saw their turnout relative to last year's presidential election much higher than we saw uh, in other parts of the state, white, uh, predominantly white rural counties of the state. So you had black voters who were not engaged in the 2016 campaign getting engaged in this race. And meanwhile, you had white voters. That similar level of engagement in those rural areas wasn't happening. So you got the black support for uh, Dones. You got black turnout for Jones. You had a bit of depressed white turnout in some of these rural areas, especially down here where Roy Moore's people, they were talking about this like a broken record, that this was going to be their area of the state. Well, they didn't. They got the numbers in terms of the percentages of the vote, but not in terms of the turnout of the vote. And then that alone was never going to be enough. The other question here was the suburban parts of the state, white college educated suburbanites. We showed you this was a, a big one. I'll show you again, Lee County. I am still floored by the numbers I'm seeing here because Roy Moore, even nearly losing statewide five years ago, he won this county with 53%. Look at that. He barely got 40% tonight. The same thing happened across the state in Tuscaloosa. Moore got close to 50% here last time out, only 41% tonight. These are college towns, University of Alabama uh, and all. Auburn. So again, you got those defections from college educated voters, college educated suburbanites that the Democrats needed. Uh, and again, it's just it's at 10,000 votes right now. We said, look, if there was a campaign that a Democrat could win Alabama, it would have to be this one. And the Democrat has indeed won Alabama. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.